And uh, here we are back again. Today we're going through a list of 10 of things you should wait to do in Worm Online and Worm Unlimited. Now these things, uh, as, soon, as soon as you get the skill, um, they're going to be a lot easier for you to do. You're going to have no problems with attaching and just actually creation. And these are the things that you should probably wait to do till your skill's a bit higher. So let's have a look at the list. Now these are not in any particular order, they're just uh, a list of 10, so we'll go from the top and we'll head on down. Obelisk. Now these are not easy to make and to get them you need to get them through a mission. They need to be created on a specific part of the server. Uh, you can get them from other people that may make a lot of them, but uh, that's a way to start them. And also, uh, you have to actually create them off deed and then uh, later you can push them onto deed. But first they have to be made off deed. Now, they're not easy. They are kind of half the materials of a Colossus, but uh, they are a little bit hard to, 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 to attach. So. Um, not easy, so that's number one. Colossus. Now these do have double the amount of materials of an obelisk, but they are a little bit easy to t attach, even at a um, at a high uh, masonry. You will have perhaps a, a little, little bit of trouble. Uh, I recommend at least being 70 or 80 to do these uh, obelisk and the Colossus. Now the biggest thing about the Colossus is. Uh, you're going to need the sheets of uh, gold or silver, depending on what Colossus you're going to do. And that will require at least uh, like a thousand ore of uh, gold or silver or whatever you need to use to uh, put on the Colossus. Uh, nah. Now, shipbuilding is kind of tough and uh, a lot of people do like the Nah and they want to get their hands on one pretty damn quick. But unless you have enough skill in it, it's going to be really tough to do and attaching will just tear you apart. Now, uh, it's known that uh, about a 50 skill, at least 50 skill in uh, shipbuilding should be required to at least attempt one because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt. Now you can do it, you can do it at 25, 37, but it's going to take you a long time. You're going to need some good quality materials to do so. Cordage rope. Now everybody needs cordage rope when they're going to do stuff like uh, shipbuilding. That's a big thing. So when you're starting out with your first sailboat, you're going to need cordage rope. Now you're going to need to at least get around uh, about 20, 25 skill, depending on what the quality of your rope tool is. Uh, but you may be able to luck one out. But um, the best way to do that is level up with bowstrings, make them, and get up to about 25 or so, something rather like that, or get a really high quality. Uh, rope tool and then you can do it at a lot lower uh, even you know 13 percent uh, rate but it's going to be tough and cordage rope is not fun circle of cunning and wind of ages now this is a priest cast from the uh, vinora and uh, a lot of people want to get in there and uh, start casting these things because uh, they're obviously going to help with the skilling but unless you have your channeling up at least a bit uh, at least around 40 or so, you need to be uh, getting it up there so you're not blowing up weapons or, or tools. But if you're going to do that, make lots and lots and lots of low level um, uh, tools. And if you're going to blow them up, it doesn't matter. But there are obviously other skills to use at low level to get your, your, um, your channeling up. And uh, doing COCs and WAs is not the way to do it. Swimming long distances. Now this is uh, a bit of a funny one. You're not gonna. It's not really about creating or anything like that. But it's a bit of a, um, a pain in the butt because uh, if you die out in the water, it's going to be tough getting your gear back. Uh, and you know you're going to lose a bit of skill. And depending uh, at the at low level, you're not going to lose much skill. But it's still a pain in the butt. And you see a lot of new people out there going for a long swim, going, I can make it. I can make it. But uh, get halfway across the water and they're dead. Now just need to remember that that stamina bar will, as it goes down, will speed up. So don't go, okay, I'm halfway to that island and I've, I've got halfway to go, but as it, as it drops lower, it's going to go speed up and before you know it, you're dead. Stone mine doors. Now everyone likes a stone mine door because it's quite secretive, but they are quite tough to do. Even you know around 80 skill in masonry, you still get like a 43% chance of making it. So it's kind of a bit odd, but uh, you know trying to do that early is going to be a pain in the butt. But also uh, it's probably best to do a, a wooden door or something like that because they're obviously easier to make and you can actually imp them. Whereas a stone door you can't, so you have to wait for it to 
to damage, damage, damage and be uh, destroyed and then you have to put a new one on. But the good thing about uh, on deed is that uh, these things don't damage and you'll have them for a long time. Slate flooring. Now I found this one to be quite annoying. I hadn't had slate for a very long time and I haven't, uh, in all my deeds, I haven't really had slate. But tried to do these slate floors and it's actually a pain in the butt because you need concrete, you need slate shingles, you need mortar, you need to put them all together. Um, you need to have, uh, first make the, uh, the, the, uh, the slabs, the slate slabs, which requires that concrete. And that means you need ash and it is a pain in the butt and you need lye. So anyway, look on the wiki and have a look at it. It's not really that much fun. Um, uh, especially that slate is a little bit uh, scarce. Uh, you may have pockets around where you have lots of slate and stuff like that, but uh, usually it's not that common. Plate smithing. Now this is not a fun skilled level. I haven't done it, I haven't needed to, and I don't really want to do it. Now, it does require a couple of different skills to get it done. Uh, obviously you need high mining, you need high uh, metallurgy. Now they have changed a little bit so it's a little bit easier but you will need that charcoal so you will need to make wood piles and it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt but uh, I guess in the long run it's rewarding but definitely a tough skill to level. Last but not least riding on a priest. Now the best idea for this is to do it before you turn into a priest because getting that body control up 21 is quite difficult because you need to be crafting, you need to be imping and stuff like that creating buildings to get that body control up um, and you're not going to be able to do that when you become a priest so uh, you can also do archery now on priests on all priests which is fantastic but the gains you get from that now are a little bit less than what they used to be so you're going to be needing to do things like uh, making planks, making string, making all types of things that you can only do one action with which is kind of a pain in the butt so if you want to be a priest and you want to ride, make sure you do it before you go to the priesthood. And there we have it, a list of 10 of things to wait to do in Worm Online and Worm Unlimited. These things, probably best to wait to do them because they are tough or get someone else to help you with them because you don't want the pain and of uh, things not attaching, things not creating and you'll be wasting materials if you try to attempt a lot of these things before you're ready. Hope you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe and like button and we'll see you later.